Welcome back to Hannity Time for Media Mash, our weekly roundup of all the ways the mainstream media tries to put their liberal spin on your news this week. They couldn't help hide their left-wing bias when it came to covering the passage of the right-to-work legislation in Michigan. Here to explain it, none other, none other than the president of the Media Research Center, Brother Bozell. How are you, sir? Brother Hannity, how are we doing? All right, I'm doing good. So we have all this unfold. We have Stephen Crowder punched, not provoking anybody. Uh, we have all this violence. None of the networks covered it. There's a story I interviewed. There's a, a, a guy that was there 16 years, has a hot dog stand in, in Lansing. who was hired for Americans for Prosperity. I just played a tape earlier. He discusses how he's called the N-word uh, and all these horrible names. And he also described how they ruined his equipment. Listen to this. What happened? Walk us through what happened the other day when, the, when they collapsed that tent. Well, uh, I set up around 10 o'clock a.m. Um, everything was going good. 10:30, uh, I started serving hot dogs, and I'll say probably 30, maybe a quarter to 12, is when two guys came in. One had a uh, like a Halloween devil's mask on. The other one had a ski mask on. But I just thought it was just a prank. Everybody was having fun. But anyway, so I gave them a, a hot dog. Everybody had to have a ticket. So they had tickets, so I gave them a hot dog. And when they got through eating their hot dogs, they looked over to the right there, turned over the coffee and urine. And uh, by that time, the protesters were tearing the tent down. And so the groundskeeper of the Capitol, he came in and said, Clint, you got to get out of here. They're tearing the tent down. All right. I mean, then they call him the M word, right to his face. Reaction. Why didn't the media cover that? Well, I think, I think your, your viewers need to think about two things. One is, remember the dozens, the hundreds of stories that we've watched since 2009 about the menacing nature of the Tea Party and all the accusations made about the Tea Party, never mind that there was no evidence ever to back up the N-word with the Tea Party or, or, or Gabby Giffords or so many, uh, the Batman shooting in Colorado, all these things that were attributed to the Tea Party, none of it was true. But this was a media that was just um, um, obsessed about the, the need for civility in the American public conversation. Okay, so now the tables are turned, and now you've got outright violence being perpetrated. And racism. And so, so, so the hypocrisy is there. But, but you know, yeah, and racism, but Bashan, what, what is key here is that reporters were there. That scene is crawling with journalists. They're all there. They're seeing it with their own eyes. It's not like they missed a story. Right. It's not like they didn't have the footage. It's like, not like nobody told them about it. They were there. They saw it. And still, they withheld it from the public. All right. So there was no reference in the mainstream media this week to the violence that occurred. You rightly point out that they were there. So we decided to go back and we did a little search. Now, you have a 100% peaceful movement known as the Tea Party. They searched high and low. They couldn't find racism. They couldn't find violence. But that's not how they portrayed it. The same people that ignored this man's story and the violence. Listen to this. A year-long debate that's been rancorous and mean from the start turned even nastier yesterday. Demonstrators protesting the bill poured into the halls of Congress shouting, kill the bill and made in the USSR. Opponents of the bill have been out today, and some of them pulled out all the stops. Protesters roaming Washington, some of them increasingly emotional, yelling slurs and epithets. When Hamas does it, or Hezbollah does it, it is called terrorism. Why should Republican lawmakers and the astroturf groups organizing on behalf of the health care industry be viewed any differently? Especially now that far too many Tea Party protesters are comparing President Obama and health care reform to Hitler and the Holocaust. Hitler, Holocaust, terrorists, rancorous, mean, yelling, slurs and epithets, which, by the way, they could not produce because there was a $100,000 reward if they could find it. It's, it's time for the Tea Party, I'm serious, to consider demonstrations in front of NBC, in front of ABC, in front of the New York Times. Never mind them all. Go to these networks because it's time for there to be a, nat a national outrage against what they're doing. All right, Brent Pozell, thanks for being with us. One